Very good morning. We go. The producer is in equilibrium. I hope you are writing. The producer is in equilibrium when isocond is tangent with isocos line. Isocond is tangent with isocos line. Ligo udar. Aur baad mein confirm karo apne liga. Isocond is tangent with isocos line. Ligo, ligo, write in your notebook. You are sitting with a notebook and pen. Kidar ligane ka madlab kya hai? Ligo udar. When the isocond is tangent with the isocost line. That is the equilibrium. In this diagram, in this diagram, point E is considered as equilibrium. In this diagram, point E is considered as equilibrium. In this diagram, point E is considered as the equilibrium. For isocond is tangent with isocost line. Isocond is tangent with isocost line. Confirm karo apne ligha karke, yes or no, dalo. Did you complete the sentences what I told you to write? I want more answers. There are almost 50 students in the class. The producer is in equilibrium when isocond is tangent with isocost line. Hey, Deko, this is the isocond. The producer is in equilibrium when isocond is tangent with isocost line. This is the isocond. This is the isocost line. In the diagram, point E is considered as the equilibrium. In the diagram, Point E is considered as the equilibrium. What is the question? Explain produces equilibrium with isocont. Explain produces equilibrium with isocont and isocost line. That is the question which already I told you. Yes, others. Please put it in the chat box. Could you complete the diagram? Did you write the notes what I told you? The points which I discussed you here. Put it in the chat box. I am waiting for your answer. Question Ligo. Draw and explain producers equilibrium with isocon and isocos line. Draw and explain producers equilibrium with isocon and isocos line. Put it in the chat box. Question number one, did you write the question? Question number two, did you complete the points what I told you? I want the answer. Children, I cannot see any answer in the chat box. Start putting the answers, yes or no. Did you understand this? Question number one. Did you write the notes? Question number two. Thank you, children. Thank you. Write more, write more.
Now we are going to discuss the most important question. Ligo, draw and explain the law of variable proportions. Question Ligo, draw and explain. A module say A sub padna padega. Nahi padne par do not write the exam. So draw and explain the law of variable proportion. Write the question. It's an eight mark question. Draw and explain the law of variable proportion. Lego. First one, this law is based on short run production function. This law is based on short run production function. What do you mean by short run production function, children? Some factors are variable, other factors are fixed. This is point number one. This law is based on short run production function. Ligo, under this law, some factors are fixed, some factors are variable. Here we go. You are aware, short run production function may all the factors are not variable. Some are fixed, some are variable. A point we go, all the factors cannot be variable in the short run. A, B, A, P, A, G. All factors cannot be variable in the short run. Some factors are fixed. This law is applicable basically to agriculture. This is also a good MCQ. This law is generally applicable to agriculture. However, in modern economics, this law is applicable even to industry. Children, we are slowly starting. It is a little difficult question. You have to take down the notes. Okay, online lecture, ma'am, it is the student who has to decide whether I should do my homework properly, whether sh should I follow what the teacher says. All this is depending upon you. So the heading is the law of variable proportion. First point, it is based on short-run production function. Point number one. And what is short run production function? Some factors are variable and other factors are fixed. Some factors are variable and other factors are fixed. That is short run production function. Then third is all factors cannot be variable in the short run. Another is this law is applicable more in agriculture. And modern times, this law is also applicable in industry. But jada, this law is applicable in agriculture. Abhi, answer to my question. The law of variable proportion is based on dash. The law of variable proportion is based on dash production function. I am allowing you to unmute. Ah, you, you are allowed to unmute. I'm allowing you to unmute. Ah, abhi answer to me really. You can give the answer now. The law is based on what? Short-run production. Short -run production. Short -run. Perfect. This law is based on short-run production function means some factors are fixed and other factors are variable. Variable. You are right. Some factors are fixed and other factors are variable. Because all factors cannot be changed. Variable means change. All factors cannot be changed in the short run. Okay. And this law is applicable more into what? Agriculture. Very good. This law is applicable more into agriculture. You are right. Now I am muting all of you. Okay. I hope you have taken down up to this point. Any point not clear, put it in the chat box or ask me. Now, here we go. this law is also known as law of diminishing marginal returns. Take down. I will share you these notes, but you take down the points also. This law is also known as law of diminishing marginal returns. Objective may puchega. Law of variable proportion is also known as dash. 
the law of diminishing marginal returns. Okay. Then this law examines behavior of production in the short run where output is increased by increasing the variable factors, keeping other factors fixed. Take down the point. In this law, we studied, Ligodhar, in this law, we study how the output can be increased. Take down the point. How the output can be increased by changing. In this law, we study who is talking. In this law, we study how the output can be one second. Screen sharing here again. In this law, we studied how the output can be changed by changing the variable factor. By changing the variable factor and keeping and keeping some factors fixed. Keeping some factors fixed. This law states, next point, Ligua. This law states, technology remains the same. Ligua, there. Technology remains the same. Okay. Some factors are fixed. Some factors are fixed. Bracket may go land. Some factors are fixed. Bracket may go land. Comma. We change the labor. We change the labor. Bracket may go variable factor. We change labor. Bracket may go variable factor. Then, then I would put, then the I would put one, two, three, Ligo. One, two, three, then the output point number one will increase. I would put will increase in the beginning. I would put will increase in the beginning. Parabar Ligo. Output will increase in the beginning. Then, decrease, output will increase in the beginning. Then, output will decrease. And in the final stage, it becomes negative. It becomes negative. Final stage. Output becomes it becomes negative. Children, I am allowing you to unmute because I'm I want to be sure that you are following this. That's the main reason. So let us start together. The law of variable proportion is also known as dash. What is the answer? The law of variable proportion is also known as dash. Answer is marginal. Ah, the law, correct. The law of diminishing marginal return. Bravo. Then, in this law, this is based on short-run production function. Some factors are fixed, some are variable. So, which factor is fixed in this law? Land. Land. I want answers from others also. Land is fixed. You are right. Which factor is variable? Labor. Labor. Very nice. Land is fixed. Labor is very good. Labor is variable. In this case, output will change in three fashion. How the output will change? First, the output will increase. Then output will decrease. Third stage. Output will become negative. Did you understand? 
increase decrease and negative put it in the chat box chat box so far could you understand or not everybody has to give the answer put it in the chat box so far could you understand what i was explaining dalodar i am i am waiting for everybody's answer okay thank you children thank you children now we are going with the table okay so here you can see that here you can see somewhere h e y ignore that because i was telling and getting it recorded that is why that voice is captured over there so don't bother about that word h e y the law is based on following assumption what are the assumption land is the fixed factor labor is the variable factor okay all units of variable factors are homogeneous what do you mean by that all labor units are all the labor is having same efficiency technology remains constant last one technology remains constant now children you have to learn three variables here first one is total product second one is average product third one is marginal product okay total product average product marginal product what is total product children the total unit of production suppose that in one unit of land i am able to produce 100 tons of wheat in one unit of land i am able to produce 100 units of wheat it is known as total product what is average product average product is generally the price per unit 100 unit ko main kaisa sell karega ek unit ke liye main kitna charge karega that is average product marginal product apne padha hai marginal is the additional when i am producing more unit what is the additional unit what is the additional? marginal is the additional unit again i am repeating total product is the total of the product which we are producing average product dekho how do we get average product we get average product we get average product by dividing total product by the variable factor tp divided by the variable factor marginal unit is the additional made to the total product there are three names you will have to study here one is the total product second is the average product third is the marginal product have total product is the total which is produced i told you 100 quintals of wheat that is total product average is total divided by the variable total divided by the number generally there is a price marginal is the additional product now very carefully please take down this table because this table carry three marks very carefully take down or take the photo whatever you are understanding because this table you will have to draw like this only this will carry three marks are you careful explain one unit of labor for understanding which is the fixed factor here children land land is fixed factor labor is the variable factor look okay there land is the fixed factor labor is the variable factor okay so one unit of labor i am using on the land my total production is 5 average production is 5 marginal production is 5 first unit mein tp ap and mp are same abhi aap dekho second unit mein tp becomes 
फोर्टीन सीपी बिकम्स फोर्टीन आपको मालूम है मार्जिनल प्रोडक्ट का फॉर्मूला आपने बहुत जगह में एम आर एम सी सब पढ़ा टी पी एन माइनस टी पी एन माइनस वन लिखो जिसको फॉर्मूला नहीं आता है उसको लिखना पड़ेगा टी पी एन माइनस टी पी एन माइनस वन टी पी एन माइनस टी पी एन माइनस वन इधर देखो जी कॉलम दिस इज द मार्जिन ये नाइन में देखो किधर से मिला फोर्टीन माइनस फाइव लिखो उधर फोर्टीन माइनस फाइव सेकेंड माइनस फर्स्ट ये देखो देन एवरेज कैसा मिला फोर्टीन डिवाइडेड बाई टू स्टेप लिखो उधर फोर्टीन डिवाइडेड बाई टू टी पी डिवाइडेड बाई वेरिएबल फैक्टर वेरिएबल फैक्टर इज लेबर फोर्टीन डिवाइडेड बाई टू देन नेक्स्ट इज टोटल प्रोडक्ट इज थर्टी सो एवरेज प्रोडक्ट थर्टी डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री टेन मार्जिनल प्रोडक्ट कितना मिला सिक्सटीन इधर से सिक्सटीन मिला थर्टी माइनस फोर्टीन थर्टीन माइनस फोर्टीन लास्ट माइनस प्रीवियस देन फोर्थ यूनिट में टोटल प्रोडक्ट इज फिफ्टी सिक्स आपको टीपी का कॉलम बाइगार्ड करना पड़ेगा फर्स्ट कॉलम बाइगार्ड करना पड़ेगा प्लीज थर्ड एंड फोर्थ यू कैन राइट बाई योर सेल्फ फिफ्टी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई फोर फोर्टीन फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस थर्टी ट्वेंटी सिक्स देन नेक्स्ट इज सेवेंटी फाइव सेवेंटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव फिफ्टीन सेवेंटी फाइव माइनस फिफ्टी सिक्स नाइनटीन देन इट इज नाइंटी नाइंटी डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स फिफ्टीन देन नाइंटी माइनस सेवेंटी फाइव फिफ्टीन देन नाइंटी एट नाइंटी एट बाई सेवन फोर्टीन नाइंटी एट माइनस नाइंटी एट देन हंड्रेड एंड टू हंड्रेड एंड टू डिवाइडेड बाई एट ट्वेल्व पॉइंट एट हंड्रेड एंड टू माइनस नाइंटी एट फोर फोर इधर इट इज हंड्रेड एंड टू ओनली हंड्रेड एंड टू हंड्रेड एंड टू माइनस डिवाइडेड बाई नाइन इलेवन पॉइंट थ्री दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हंड्रेड एंड टू माइनस हंड्रेड एंड टू जीरो लास्ट कॉल ऑफ देखो नाइनटी एट नाइनटी एट डिवाइडेड बाई टेन नाइन पॉइंट एट नाइनटी एट माइनस हंड्रेड एंड टू आई एम गेटिंग माइनस फोर अब ये टेबल बराबर लिखो एंड एवरीबडी हैज टू मेंशन इन द चैट बॉक्स यू कुड फॉलो अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग एपी हाउ डिड आई गेट टीपी डिवाइडेड बाय लेबर फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय वन फाइव फोर्टीन डिवाइडेड बाय टू सेवन थर्टी डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री टेन फिफ्टी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय फोर फोर्टीन सेवेंटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव फिफ्टीन नाइनटी डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स फिफ्टीन नाइनटी एट बाय सेवन फोर्टीन Hundred and two by hundred and two by eight. Hundred and two by eight, twelve point eight. Again, hundred and two by nine, eleven point three. Ninety-eight divided by ten, nine point eight. Marginal ka isa mila first column name. You can keep it blank or you can write the same. T P ka same idhar lik sakta hai. Idhar nine ka isa mila T P ka column mein dekho. Fourteen minus five, nine. Then thirty minus fourteen, mila sixteen. Fifty-six minus thirty, mila twenty-six. Seventy-five minus fifty-six, mila nineteen. Ninety minus seventy-five, fifteen. Ninety-eight minus ninety-eight, hundred and two minus ninety-eight, four. Hundred and two minus hundred and two, zero. Ninety-eight minus hundred and two minus four. Very clearly, you write it in the chat box. Could you follow or not? Very clearly. I am waiting. Everybody has to write. A table, समझ में आया या नहीं? This is the question. हाँ, जल्दी लिखो. I want everybody to write. Fifteen, twenty, नहीं चलेगा. There are more than around seventy students are in the class. Everybody should write. Because it is a mandatory question. A table will carry three marks. Diagram will carry four marks. Hmm. 
बाकी लोगों का यस एवरीबॉडी राइट मोर डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड और नॉट बिकॉज ये टेबल में आप क्या क्या बाईघाट पड़ेगा आप लेबर बाईघाट पड़ेगा दैट इज वेरी इजी फॉर यू वन अप टू टेन देन यू विल स्टडी बाईघाट दिस कॉलम ये तो बराबर बाईघाट करना पड़ेगा दिस यू कैन राइट TP is equal AP is equal into TP divided by labor. MP you can write from this column TP. Now, many circle ki hai dekho. What are the points? When I am using fourth unit of labor, I am using the labor. Ye dekho. I am using the laser. When I am using fourth unit of labor, what is happening to marginal productivity? Ye dekho. marginal productivity reaches maximum children 5 9 16 26 26 ke baad mein mp decreases you can see here so we go that when i am using the fourth unit of labor when i am using fourth unit of labor ligo barabar when i am using fourth unit of labor mp reaches maximum MP reaches maximum. कितने हैं वो भी लिखो. MP reaches maximum that is twenty six. Bracket में डालो. Then next लिखो. When I am using sixth unit of labor. When I am using sixth unit of labor. AP reaches maximum. AP इधर देखो आप. AP reaches maximum. Either 15 है उसके बाद this is 15, so it reaches the maximum. Bracket में लिखो 15, 15. When I am using ninth unit of labour, इधर देखो. When I am using ninth unit of labour, when I am using ninth unit of labour, TP reaches maximum. TP reaches maximum. टीपी कितने हैं चिल्ड्रन हंड्रेड एंड टू टीपी रीचेस मैक्सिमम दैट इज हंड्रेड एंड टू आपने ट्वेल्थ में पढ़ा व्हेन टोटल यूटिलिटी इज मैक्सिमम मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी इज जीरो लॉ ऑफ डिमिनिशिंग यूटिलिटी में पढ़ा सेम थिंग यू अप्लाई हियर ठीक है उधर व्हेन टीपी इज मैक्सिमम व्हेन टीपी इज मैक्सिमम ब्रैकेट में देखो हंड्रेड एंड टू When TP is maximum, that is hundred and two. Marginal productivity is zero. Marginal productivity is zero. I hope you are writing. When TP is maximum, MP is zero. Next point. After reaching the maximum, after reaching the maximum, TP begin to decrease. After reaching the maximum, TP begins to decrease. Unit number ten. After reaching the maximum, TP begins to decrease. Unit number ten. Bracket में लिखो ninety eight. Ninety eight. Ninety eight. Put a comma and write. In the last unit, in the last unit, MP is negative. In the last unit, MP is negative. MP is negative. Children, आप खुद बोलेगा. I will start. You will be completing. I hope you can unmute yourself. Let me check. Okay. You can unmute yourself. No problem. Tell me. First one. How we are starting? When we are at fourth unit of labor, MP is dash. Give me the answer. At fourth unit of labor, MP is dash. If it is not clear, you ask me. I don't mind in explaining again. But you have to understand that logic. When I am using the fourth unit of labor, MP is what? Twenty-six. Ah, twenty-six. Ka, but what did you write? That twenty-six. Maximum. Ah, right. MP is maximum. You are right. I don't want to answer twenty-six. I want this. MP is maximum. उधर लिखो आप. MP is maximum. Then when I am using the sixth unit of labor, TP AP is dash. 
when I am using the six units of labor, A P is dash. What's the answer? A P is max. Perfect. A P is maximum. Right, children. A P is maximum. Then, when I am using the ninth unit of labor, T P is dash. When I am using the ninth unit, T P. So, na ne. When I am. T P is maximum one hundred two. Very good. T P is maximum one hundred and two. Right. In the last unit, T P decreases. And MP become dash. In the last unit, TP decreases and MP become zero. Zero, nay. In the last unit, a ten T minus four. Minus four, right? In the last unit, TP decreases, MP become negative. The other point is when TP is maximum. When TP is maximum, MP is zero. You can see here. Very clearly, chat box me dalo. Did you understand the three relations? Very, very clearly. Otherwise, again I can repeat once more. At fourth unit, TP. Uh, at fourth unit, MP reaches maximum. In case you did not understand, marginal utility, marginal product reaches maximum. In the sixth unit, AP reaches maximum. AP reaches maximum. In the ninth unit, TP reaches maximum. TP reaches maximum. Then MP is zero. MP is zero. In the last unit, TP decreases. MP become negative. Abhi, everybody has to write. Did you understand all these three relations? I am waiting. Nice. Write others. I am. I am just looking at your chat only, because this table itself will carry three marks. Table three marks. Diagram three marks, and the explanation two marks. This is how the whole mark is divided. Nice children. Everybody write more. There are a very good number of children, so you write more and more. Did you understand or not? Because it's kebab. We have to draw the diagram. Thank you, children. We will draw the diagram. Ah, now I will explain this and you will do. There are three stages. Who will take on? There are. The stage is also known as phase. P H A S C. Phase means stage. There are three stages for this law. What is stage number one? Stage number one: T P increases, M P increases, A P increases. We go there. Stage number one: all the three are increasing. T P, A P, M P. Stage number one, all the three are increasing. Then, stage number one means marginal product reaches maximum. After that, MP begin to decrease. Deco. Then, average product reaches the maximum. Either a stage, marginal product reaches the maximum, average product reaches the maximum. Either a dono, a deco, a dono. This is stage one. Pado. Stage one me, TP increases, AP increases, MP increases. Then apne dekha marginal product reaches the maximum twenty six. After that marginal product begins to decrease. Then average product reaches the maximum sixty unit. Idhar dekha apne. Okay. This stage is known as increasing return. Underline karo info. First stage is known as increasing returns. Children, first stage is known as increasing return. First stage में क्या क्या होता है? Tell me. First stage में TP, AP, MP dash complete करो. First stage में TP, AP and MP को क्या होता है? आवाज़ किधर गया? 
children first stage tp ap and mp dash increase very good all the three are increasing tp increases ap increases increasing right so then why stage mein marginal product reaches the maximum ye apne padha idhar dekho marginal product reaches the maximum this one then average product reaches the maximum this stage is known as stage of increasing returns second stage dekho second stage this is the second stage total product reaches the maximum children be very careful total product reaches the maximum and marginal product becomes zero this is the point you have to remember second stage total product reaches the maximum dekho idhar this one total product reaches the maximum marginal product becomes zero either second stage is getting over third stage mein what is happening third stage tp decreases mp become negative dekho third stage i told you don't bother about this hpy i told you this is the voice which is captured by the laptop third stage tp decreases and mp become negative tp decreases and mp become negative i hope you are able to understand no producer will go for stage 3 where the marginal product is negative where the marginal product is negative economically speaking stage 2 is the best in the law of variable proportion children let us start stage 1 mein stage 1 kidhar hai diagram mein tell me stage 1 kidhar hai up to unit 4 up to unit 4 stage 1 mein what is happening tp increases ap increases and mp increases then what reaches maximum which one reaches maximum first tell me is it tp ap or mp which reaches maximum first mp mp perfect mp reaches maximum first that 26 afterwards ap reaches maximum ap kidhar maximum hota hai kaun sa unit mein diagram dekho ap kidhar maximum hota hai where is your voice has gone 15 no fifth mein nahi fifth mein 15 hai and sixth mein again it is 15 so sixth one sixth one panch mein nahi hai panch mein 15 hai baad mein again it is 15 so either it reaches maximum at the sixth unit tp reaches maximum where tp reaches maximum where look in the diagram 9 9 tp reaches maximum at 9 now second stage mein humne kya kya dekha second stage mein humne dekha tp reaches maximum 102 mp become zero that means either Ninth unit mein second stage kadam hota hai. Third unit, third stage is TP decreases, MP become negative. TP decreases, MP become negative, and the best stage is second stage because TP is maximum and MP is zero. Ligo dar, idhar tak samjh mein aaya. Diagram we will do tomorrow. Right, everybody. Did you understand the three stages? Lego children, I'm waiting. Thank you, children. Thank you. Nice. Take down the points. I will share the notes also. And YouTube video ko subscribe karo. I cannot see the increase in the number of subscription. subscribe to the channel one minute i am taking your attendance i'm just removing this word otherwise you will get confused
एक ही मिनट चिल्ड्रन वो छे वही जिधर है वो आई एम जस्ट रिमूविंग इट सो दैट यू विल नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज I'm sharing the attendance. Attendance link. I'm sharing. Just wait for one minute. I'm opening the G drive. Okay. I'm opening the. अटेंडेंस फॉर्म वन मिनट वेट करो Now I am sharing. Chat box, me I am sharing. I have shared the attendance. Attendance link, I have shared. Kiya. Put the attendance. Whoever has put the attendance can leave. Same link only I have shared. 